So, check the presentations of the year. As the year is coming by, check it. Now, there was a king in the Bible and the prophet told him in the spring of the year, in the beginning of the year, the enemies will come and attack you, so prepare. So, he had to prepare for the spring of the year, for the beginning of the year, to be able to fight that war. Now, God has given us wisdom and beings to put a stipulation or a ceiling on some months and call it a year. So, it may happen that in other jurisdictions, it will be 13 months or 14 months, that will be a year. And that is their wisdom, the wisdom that God has given to them. And according to their culture, that is their stipulation. Now, in the Roman calendar, it was January, that was the first year, first month. But in, in I don't know the other calendars, in the Adangbe calendar, it was not January, it was August. That is the first year, first month. So, by our, by our stipulations, we have put a mark upon and we say we are in the new year. But the actual fact and the act the, for us being into a new year, because the Bible said thousand years is just like one day in the sight of God. Amen. And one day is just like thousand years in the sight of God. Mm. So it may be that we are in 2021. Yeah. But in the sight of God, it is just one day. Yeah. Or in the sight of God, it will, just, it will be like thousand years in the sight of God. Yeah. So be in 2021 yeah. does not change anything about you. Yeah. What changed something about you? Yeah. Because the day you came here yeah. and crossed over, yeah. you went to your home yeah. and your shoe never changed. Mm. Your clothes never change. Mm. The telly in your room never change. Mm. The painting of your house never change. Mm. The food you eat never change. Mm. Nothing change in the house. Mm. And we say we are near. What means that we are in new year? Mm. Being in the new year is your mindset. Mm. If your mind is old that you are not in the new year, mm. and your mindset is what shows that you are in the new year. Mm. What mindset do you have? Mm. What mindset do you cross over with? Mm. What things do you take into account? Mm. How things do you check about your life? Mm. What things do you did in 2020 mm. and it does not work for you mm. and you want to stop them mm. or you carry them and you place them into 2021 uh, mm. you are not in the new year with that uh, mm. your new year is a mindset uh, mm. your mindset uh, is your new year mm. the bible says things that are perfect mm. all things that are good all things that are great mm. all things that are perfect uh, mm. all things that are of god uh, mm. let us brood and let us think upon this ones uh, mm. let us have a mindset uh, mm. the bible say our mind is the mind of god mm. jesus christ is my brain mm. jesus Jesus Christ is my mind. Mm. Jesus Christ is how I think. Uh, mm. How I think and how I do things. Uh, mm. It means that I'm in a new year. Mm. Every day is a new day. Mm. The Bible says he does a thing. Mm. He does new thing in every day. Mm. Have you been able to think new in every day? Mm. Have you been able to achieve what you want to achieve? Mm. Have you been able to place something uh, mm. that you want to do in this year? Mm. Have you been able to lay your hands upon something uh, mm. that you say this is what I want? to do mm. and this is what i want to achieve in 2020 mm. or you are still gallivanting like the devil mm. going around and coming mm. we are into the seventh day of the year mm. are you still working as you are, as you are working in 2021 mm. are you still doing the things of the old mm. are you still doing the things of the old mm. are you still manipulating and doing the things of the old mm. are you still lying as you are lying of the old mm. are you still having the same character mm. the same character 
have in 2021 are you still having in 2020 do you cross with the same character then you are not in a new year it is your mindset that shows you that you are in a new year are you still in 2021 do you still want to do something for yourself or as in 2020 as you don't know anything to do for your life you are just moving about and going and coming yes i came to tell somebody the new year is not the number that has been added to the year 2020 the new year is the number that has been added in your mind the new year is the number that has been added in your thinking the new year is the number that has been able to influence your thinking the new year is the number that has been able to influence your worship the new year is the number that has been able to influence the thing how you do things the new year is the number that has been able to influence how you perceive and see things how you acquire things the new year is the number that has been able to influence the things that you do for your life the new year is the number that has been able to change something about you is your spiritual life change is your prayer life change is the things that you are doing what improvement has come seven days into the new year how what improvement Movement have you seen in your life? Uh? Have you taken an account of your life uh? and try to improve it? Uh? That shows that you are in the new year. It is not the number that has been added to the year because your shoe is the same, uh? your cloth is the same, uh? your telly is the same, uh? your face is the same. Uh? Yes, how you think and how you thought is the new year. It is not the number one that has been added to 2021. To 2020, and made it 2021. So we are in the new year. Everybody is jubilating. But some of us, the mindset that we have, it is, it is still the same. If it is good, we need to improve it. If it is bad, we need to change it. But it is the same. And we say we are in a new year. Every day, God can do something. According to human stipulation, this is 2021. But I prophesy unto you, maybe tomorrow, according to the archives of God, tomorrow will be you your new year. Maybe according to the archives of God, today is somebody's new year. Because God don't see it the way you see it. He has signed it because you chose it. He said, enter into the land. The verse number 18. Enter into the land. See whether the people there are many. See whether they are strong. See whether they are few. Go to number, number 19. Let me see something. The verse number 19. He said, whether the land they dwell is good or bad. Whether the cities they inhabit are like camps or strongholds. This is what Moses is telling them. Say, see whether the cities they dwell in. See whether the land they dwell in is good or bad. What good opportunity is presenting itself? Some of us, there are good opportunities that presented itself in the years past and we lose them. This year in 2021, there are good opportunities that will present themselves and there are bad opportunities that will present themselves. Which choice are you making? Because God told the children of Israel, He said, I have placed before you good and bad. But I pray, that is what Moses said. But I pray that you choose the good one. Moses said, You have 
the authority. You have the will to choose what you like. But I, cra I crave your indulgence. I beg you, choose the one that is better. Say, see whether the land the good well in is bad or good. A land that God told Moses it is a land that is flowing with milk and honey. I have given it to you. Why should Moses send spies again to check the land? Because you have to know that even in the garden of Eden, the holy garden, the serpent was there. So, in this year, someone will tell you it's a bad year. And someone will tell you it's a good year. But if it's a bad year, how are you taking the bad and working with it to be able to work in your favor? The telcos, the network companies have been able to take coronavirus that was destroying people and they manipulated it to work in their favor to buy bundles. Facebook, Zoom, they've been able to use coronavirus that is destroying people and killing people. And it is working in their favor. The scientists have been able to use coronavirus that is destroying nations and they have been able to use it and they have been able to produce vaccine and now it is giving them money it is working in their favor yeah. don't always see problem yeah. when you see a problem yeah. make sure you ask god for a solution yeah. because let me tell you something yeah. if you can provide a solution to a problem yeah. you will be a hero yeah. it is a solution provider that we want yeah. that is when 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 the the, the kingdom of heaven yeah. the things begin being became bizarre yeah. and 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 and, and and the children of God lost their inheritance to the devil. Yeah. And it became a problem. Yeah. God sent Jesus Christ yeah. to come and die for that problem. Yeah. So that that problem can be solved. Yeah. Then that is why today, yeah. I and you, we are preaching Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. it is destroying people's life. Yeah. It is killing people. Yeah. But how are you using it? Yeah. How are you getting into it? Yeah. He says, see what that the land is good or bad mm. if it is good how are you taking advantage of it mm. and if it is bad how are you taking advantage of it mm. yes your family don't have money mm. yes your family is poor mm. how are you taking advantage of the poverty mm. to learn sense mm. how are you taking advantage of the poverty mm. to make something for yourself mm. how are you taking advantage uh, mm. of the poverty mm. to be able to 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 calm yourself uh, uh, how are you taking advantage uh, uh, of that poverty to be able to be humble uh, yes your family has money uh, they have money everything you need they give you uh, uh, how are you able uh, taking advantage of that riches of your father uh, so that you can ride on it as a mountain uh, uh, to achieve your own uh, uh, so that you can stand on it uh, uh, to achieve your own uh, how are you able uh, how are you taking advantage of the things that has been that has been if they see whether the land is good or bad if the land is good take advantage of it if the land is bad you can tilt it you can manure it you can put fertilizer in it and you can plant and it will survive and it will succeed if the land is bad you can you you, you can you can act 
actually import fertilizer. You can import black soil and put it on the land and you'll be able to produce. Yes, how are you able using this opportunity? The land may be bad. The land may be bad. But you yourself, you are not bad. You may be giving birth out of Locker, but that does not change your identity. It doesn't change the grace that you carry. It doesn't change the anointing that you carry. It doesn't change the power that you carry. Yes, your father may not have wedded your mother, but it doesn't change the kind of grace that you carry. Yes, Jesus Christ was born in a human sense without father, but his star appeared. He was a great man. He was lying in the manger. The same day, I know other Jesus is were born uh, they were born in the hospitals uh, but this jesus in the manger he star appear yes you can turn your situation uh, you can turn your situation to do something for yourself uh, you can turn your situation to achieve something for yourself uh, yes that man has disappointed you that woman has disappointed you have this use have you sat down to take into account uh, what went wrong that is why they disappoint you there are some of as that we have changed some men change some men in the liar if today one man disappoints us tomorrow we agree for the next one if tomorrow that man disappoints us tomorrow next we agree for the next one if tomorrow next that man disappoints us the next day we agree for the next one so we don't sit down and take into account and think about ourselves and think that what am i doing what is wrong with me that is why people are disappointed pointing me like that uh, he has take advantage uh, of the opportunity that is presented to you there are so many opportunities in battle royals uh, there are so many opportunities uh, that is presented in this house uh, you sit in this house and you say you don't know i don't know what i want to do i don't know what i'll do in the house uh, i came to tell you it is because your eyes excuse me to say you are blind spiritually there are so many opportunities uh, take that opportunity as the opportunity to present itself take the opportunity there is one man in this house uh, that i admire so much uh, he is a man that take advantage of every opportunity i am talking about bra promise uh, when he came to this house uh, he took advantage of the opportunity we sit down here and we call ourselves pastors we call ourselves men of god we say we are all pastors how are you taking advantage of the opportunity the opportunity has been presented you are not taking advantage uh, and you want somebody to feed you with it uh, it doesn't happen like that take advantage prove yourself right uh, and you get the nod how are you taking advantage uh, of what is presented to you whether it is good or bad how are you taking advantage of it how are you taking advantage There are some of us in this house in those days when we did not have opportunity to, pre to preach when we don't have opportunity to learn when we did not have the opportunity to, to lead anything to lead prayer to do anything we took every instruction that the man of God, God gave, gave to us seriously we pray as if we are the ones coming to preach today we learn as if that is it Prepare yourself for the opportunity because one day it will come. Last, someone was complaining. These people cry, what have they done for us? These people cry, what have they done for us? These people, they have not done anything for us. These people, they are not. Then somebody asked him, Let me ask you something. He said, Yes. Ask me. Then he asked him. If today the, the government brought this job, this job, this job, this job, what is your qualification to apply? Then he is standing there. So then the person told him, You are shouting that they are not doing anything. But today, if they provide it, you will never get it. 
So, take advantage of the opportunity. There are so many opportunities. Take advantage of it. In this year, take advantage of the opportunity. Look, there are some of us we want to do thousand things at a time. It, ne it never works that way. There are some of us you cannot do so many things at a time. Check yourself. Check what you can do. Do one thing at a time. It will be a stepping stone for you to achieve. Don't want to do all things at a time. That is why you are growing and you are not doing anything. Because everything BBIA will fail. Who person will be And then you don't know the, the, the actual thing to do. Because you want to do everything. It doesn't work that way. This year, have a focus. Have something that you want to achieve. Tell God, God, give me the grace. By the end of this year, I want to get this. I want to get this. I want to get this. Take advantage. The year may be bad. But it is a voice of a messenger. It is a voice that has been prophesied. Thank God you also have a voice. So you can also achieve. He said, whether the cities they inhabit are like camps or strongholds. So, Moses told the children, the children that were going to spy the land. He said, see whether the cities that they are staying in it, the cities, whether they are like camps or Walls have been built 